Greetings and welcome to RuralVacantLand.com, where we have easy, cheap land priced 50 to 80% below the competition. Today I'd like to show you a 2.5 acre property in Imperial County, California. This property is near the Salton Sea. We've got San Diego here, Los Angeles, Las Vegas is up, up this road, Phoenix over here, Salton Sea in between. I'll zoom in. As we zoom in, you can see you can see the road here. There's a major highway. There's Red Earth uh, Casino. This is a newer casino. The last couple of years, if you turned off there, there's some dirt roads and different tracks that run back into this area. We we'll keep zooming in. You can see the tracks coming into this area. You go up a wash, and you're hiding up against the hill here. It's got some green bushes. Let's see if I can show the topography of the area without getting seasick. And to the west, you've got these these mountains. These mountains block the wind coming off the the ocean. Predominant wind comes out of the west, so it's nice to be on on this side of the valley, blocking a lot of the winds that that blow through. And then from here, you've got views down the valley to Mexico, across the sea to the to the mountains on the other side and up the valley you've got um, Palm Springs and, and that kind of stuff up the valley. Some nice colorful mountains in the area. If we go back a bit so this these hills are to the west back back up to these mountains where the property is. We zoom out some can see some pictures of the area. This is all uh, government land on the back side here. So you get a lot of uh, you know, people that like to take pictures of these canyons in the area. You're off-roading through these canyons. See if I can get some better ones. Yeah, like this. Look at these, these canyons. Just very pi picturesque, artsy canyons the way the lights come through them. You can walk through here and explore a maze of canyons and take pictures. This is Anzabrigo State Park. This is just part of the park. This park goes on and on. There's lots of different topography and elevation and sedimentary and fossils and uh, plants, flowers, roads, things to explore. Some water gets trapped back in some of these canyons that allow wildlife to, to bloom. Let's go to the internet and see if I can show you some more. First, I'd like to talk about price. This is two and a half acres, and I'm asking $1,999. And I look at the whole county, Imperial County, California, and I sort price to low without any restrictions on size of the property, just everything, price low to high. What's the cheapest land you can buy in the county? The cheapest is $875, and this, this looks like a joke. There's no photo, there's no description, there's nothing here about the property. I don't know what they're trying to sell or what, but I'm not even going to count that. It doesn't say the size, it's just, I don't even think it should be on the website. Um, so $2,000, it's uh, 0.61 acres. That's the cheapest land that I'm giving any credit to that's listed on here. Quarter acre for 2500, third of an acre for 2500. Um, so I'm asking $1,999 for two and a half acres, which is a lot bigger, you know, multiples bigger than the cheapest thing out here for $2,000. So in that fashion, I believe I've got the cheapest land of size in the county. The closest thing out there is another property I've got 2.8 acres, I'm asking $2,500 for. This picture of me, this is one of my other properties that's up for sale. It may be sold by the time you watch this video. And prices just skip up from there. So, let's keep going. If you look at the area, cheapest in the area, not the county, but the area, got that other property that I've got up for sale. And then the next one is $9,800 for 2.48 acres. So this is sorting 
you know, the two to three acre properties, like to encompass the two and a half, two and a half acres, pretty popular property size. So the cheapest one that's not being sold by me is basically $9,800 in the area. It gives you an idea what, to me, that's the top of the market because it's still for sale. But, you know, it's just westerly of Red Earth Casino in Salton City. So it's just the other side of the road. Let's move on. So if we go to the internet, here's the location of that property, the GPS coordinates. If we look, pull it up on a, the actual map, we'll see the lines. Here's the lines of the property. This gray is, uh, I believe, is um, Indian Reservation land just to the north of this. So here, here, here would be the property in this area. Maybe we can zoom in and uh, pan a bit. We'll see if the, the internet will catch up with me. So from this property, looking east, you have view of the sea. This is kind of data intensive, so it takes a while to load. And if we look north, or let's look west, I mean, if you look west, you're looking up into the mountains. This might be too data intensive to do while I'm making a video. Sorry guys, if it's kind of slugging away. But there's mountains to the background and a lake in front is basically what I'm trying to say. So from the property to the closest Walmart, there's a Walmart to the south too. Um, you, know, you could go either direction. There's a Walmart down in Brawley. But, uh, I picked the one to the north. I think it's like maybe one mile closer than the one to the south. It's about 29 miles if you take Route 86 up to this Walmart in Palm Desert. Close to La Quinta, Palm Desert, Cathedral City, just off the 10. That's, that's like the major supplies. You can get groceries in the area, gas, without going very far. If you want to go to San Diego, I think San Diego is the closest major city. Downtown San Diego, through the mountains, 121 miles. If you take the southern route, these roads are like flat, wide open. I've got speeding tickets in here before, careful. But generally you can go pretty darn fast in these wide open roads. 162 miles, go through Alpine, the 8, and the back side of San Diego. Los Angeles, you can go north and take the 10. You know, Palm Springs, Palm Desert, that, that crowd uses the 10 and goes to LA. So if you go in the 10 to downtown Los Angeles from this property is 157 miles. The thing I like about this property is it's close to a lot of government land. You've got Anza Brego State Park right to the back and I showed you some of the canyons and there's just so many things to see and explore in this park. The park turns into BLM land further north, um, different mountain wildernesses, I mean, it's, it's a really large park. It just goes and goes and goes. It takes a long time to explore. I've just explored the tip of it. I'd like to spend more time in that park. In the spring, the wildflowers go crazy. In the summer, it's roasts and hot. In the winter, you can, I think in the higher elevations, you can go sledding and skiing it's a massive park so you're right up to the back side of it and you can go explore the thing but the obvious piece of, on the horizon is the sea my favorite part of the sea is this whole southern third or something is a bird sanctuary and along the coast over here somewhere is uh, Sunny Bono um, you know, bird sanctuary where they've built a whole bunch of stuff for birds. We'll get to that in a sec. But looking at pictures of Anza Brego, here's some of the flowers, here's some of the colors, the rocks, here's, you know, state park sign and there's thousands, thousands, thousands of pictures of people taking Anza Brego parks because there's so much beauty in this park. It's a great park to go explore in lots of different ways. So there's some pictures that give you an idea of some of the stuff in the park. Here's some pictures of Salton Sea. I pull up the Sunny Bono Salt and Sea National Wildlife Refuge because um, I've spent some time there and I, I think it's neat to go look 
Look at all the birds. This is the kind of picture that reminds me of the National Wildlife Refuge. I've been there different times of the year and they have different different activities, but it's just like you know, these kinds of waves of birds that basically just cloud out the sun. You know, so many birds. It's just really alive. You were talking about some of the wildlife refuge areas. Wildlife refuge. So that that's a neat one. Let's go to the taxes. I pull up the taxes on this thing and uh, San Bernardino, or sorry, Imperial County's tax website. And uh, the guy who got this property from didn't pay the taxes. I'll pay the taxes before I transfer it to you. It's, uh, I think it's like three and a half dollars twice a year, so seven, about seven dollars. But this one got a ten dollar late fee for being late, so it turned into, you know, like seventeen dollars instead of seven dollars. Um, taxes are, I, I'd consider that next to nothing in taxes. Those are the kind of taxes you want to have on land. You can not use the land for a long time, hardly pay any taxes, you won't notice, but it's uh, the land will be there ready to go when you're ready to go. So it's just it's sitting there ready to be used, be great for off-roading, dirt biking, exploring the area, camping, you know, stick an RV in there, uh, check the local regulations, make sure they allow that, but I, that's the kind of stuff I would want to do out there. If you want this one, go to my website, ruralvacantland.com, I'll put a checkout link on there where you can go on, use your credit card, and buy the thing, and you can use it today. If you want to make payments of some kind, um, let me know. I'd like I'd like half down or I'd like uh, some money down and we'll figure out payments from there. If you let me know what kind of numbers you're thinking of, I'll uh, try to structure around your numbers to make it work. Again, Luke Smith, RuralVacantLand.com. If you want other properties like this, you want to hear about deals and sales and things that come along the way, put your email and in, in, uh, name in my website in the subscribe tab and I'll send you emails along the way. Thanks for subscribing, thanks for listening, and uh, hope to hear from you soon.